Now to protecting paradise, our commitment to raising awareness of the environmental issues that affect your quality of life. Here in South Florida, a long-standing tradition has returned. We talked about the potential dangers of it a moment ago in another story, but now to those who focus on the spiny lobster mini season, which is upon us, but just for two days. And as WPTV News Channel 5's Arthur Mondell reports, it's all about staying safe and following the rules. Lobster mini season's a two-day event that's 48 hours of fun, competition, and strict regulation. Day one, man. It's day one or bust. The right tools, you need to know where they are, and you have to know how to catch them. It looked like a parking lot offshore as teams of lobster fishermen arrive back to Boca's Silver Palm Park. That's gold. Do you eat everything that you catch? Yes. For Scott Prey, it's a four decade old learned tradition that begins before dawn. Trick of the trade of this is patience and a very tender touch with the tickle stick. Just years of experience to kind of get your spots. That's it. Put the time in, learn your spots. But no matter how these lobster fishermen master mini season, there's strict regulations and evident enforcement. Right now, 12 per person per day. In addition to the daily bag limit, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says there's also a minimum size. The carapace must be larger than three inches, and catching egg-bearing spiny lobster is prohibited, which in turn helps the regular season. This is the proof. But for these pros, it's just part of the sport. Bad day in the ocean is better than a good day in the office. Arthur Mondale, WPTV News Channel 5.